Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss hypocycloid of the cycloid family curve. For that, uh, this is the given data. A wheel of radius 20 mm is rolling on another circle of radius 100 mm from inside. Okay, so this word indicates that the curve will be hypocycloid. Okay. Draw the locus of point P initially at the point of contact between rolling circle and directing circle. So if you have uh, watched my earlier videos of uh, epicycloid and uh, cycloid <coughs> or the introduction video there I told you that in, in problem of epicycloid or hypocycloid first we need to calculate theta or uh, uh, the angle which is uh, required for the one complete uh, rotation of this smaller circle theta is small r upon capital R into 360 degree. So here small r is 20 mm, bigger circle radius, outer circle radius is 100 mm and into 360 degree. So it is 72. Okay. So first we will draw one line of radius 100 mm. and then at the angle of 72 degree from this line I will draw one line of same dimension that is 100 mm Okay. <coughs> then draw arc okay so the bigger circle part of the bigger circle is now drawn the rolling circle rolling circle is of 20 mm radius which is rolling from inside the bigger circle or directing circle radius is 20 mm radius is 20 mm so at the distance of 20 mm from this arc mark center C0 and with this center and radius equal to 20 mm Okay, so this rolling circle is rolling in this direction. Okay, now divide this rolling circle into eight equal parts. Okay, so this will be the first point of contact while this rolling circle is rolling in this direction. So I will give number one here and number two, three, four, five, seven, and eight. Also divide this angle of 72 degree into same number of equal parts that is eight. So 72 divided by eight, so nine mm.
9 plus 2 8 9 plus 9 18 27 36 Okay. Now with center O and radius O7 draw arc O6 C7 and 1 will share one common arc 6 and 2 will share one common arc Five and three, and then four. Also draw one arc from the center to mark different positions of the center. That is C one, C two, C three. Okay. Now draw lines up to the central arc and mark different positions of the center I am drawing this lines at these markings of the uh, 9 degrees of one part You don't want to draw a full line you can simply play mark a point over the central arc just like this C3 C4 C8. Now the last step is to take the radius of this circle and with the center C1 draw arc or cut the arc on the arc of 1 and with center C2 without changing radius cut arc on the arc of 2 which is this then arc of 3 then 4 will be definitely tangential this is arc of 4 this is arc of 3 then arc of 5 that is 3 and 5 for common arc arc of 6 arc of 7 and 8 definitely will be tangential to this arc So this is point P8, it's P7, it's P6, P5, sorry, this is P4, then it's P3, it's P2 and P1 and last P0. You can join all these points. free and sketch so it is the required hypocycloid I'll repeat entire procedure once again first of all from the given data calculate theta angle which is smaller rolling circle radius divided by uh, directing circle radius into 360 whatever angle you are getting draw two lines at the same angle 
the line should be uh, long uh, uh, the, the length of the line should be equal to radius of the directing circle then draw arc then uh, draw rolling circle inside it because this is the curve hypocycloid that is why inside of that arc draw another circle which is rolling circle then divide that rolling circle into eight equal parts then divide this angle into eight equal parts then draw arc from the each and every point and then uh, uh, after, uh, join this or uh, simply mark this uh, center the different positions of the center c1 c2 c3 c4 up to c8 and then take the radius equal to this c0 p0 that is rolling circle radius and with the center c1 c2 c3 c4 cut the arc on the respective arc of the 1 2 3 likewise and join all these points that is the curve of hypocycloid thank you